I think we probably might like pizza, pizza the least between Who? between the group. I like pizza. I like pizza, but it's pizza, not dinner. But exactly, we both say pizza is a snack. Right. And then I pizza is dinner. Pizza. Uh, it can be. <laughs> Why don't you guys stay in your lane for a second? Whoa, 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 we're all driving now. <laughs> Everyone's merging. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. That is legit. I had an oven malfunction. My oven no, turned off. Your pizza's great. Thank don't you. let him get in your head. Alright, let's focus on the sauce. I think in, in my mind, I don't know if you guys agree, in search of the perfect pizza, uh, it's got tomato sauce on it. Yeah. I feel like the margarita is like the right. ultimate. Exactly. Kind of. It's the gold standard. Well, can I just say what I don't like, which is the sauces that are like so concentrated yeah. and yeah. they're like so pasty. They like break apart in those little clumps. Like it should nude. taste like plants, like yeah. right. fresh, bright. Right. It should taste like tomatoes. Right. Yeah. Would we ever cook a sauce before putting it on the pizza? It can't just be tomatoes. I think like a little bit of garlic is necessary, yeah. a bit of oil. Definitely oil. Salt. Each element needs to be really subtle so that it comes and together. Not like freaking ketchup or anything, but like yeah. tomato sauce for pizza. Andy, you had pretty strong feelings about sauce, so like you guys can maybe work on sauce. I'll take it. Andy, you really, it's just really important, so you should really work really hard. <laughs> tomato sauce is one of my favorite things. Sauce so, boys. All right, sauce. Sauce, 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 sauce boys. Sauce boys. The sauce, sauce men. Sauce. Great, so I know we had some notes from our group discussion last week. A hint of natural sweet. I'm curious who wrote that. Who wrote that? It's got that oh, handwriting no, of a child. I don't know. It was definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> Barely cooked sauce. I, I, I think I could get behind that. Food mill sauce. San Marzano? I mean. Sure, yeah, right? That's kind of the yeah. industry standard. This says prototype sauce. Yeah, you know, we'll take that one. And, uh, That's a, yeah, I don't know. Garlic in sauce. Garlic flavor? Uh, yeah, a hint. <laughs> Whole tomatoes. Oh, and then the last one. Oh, someone nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God we wrote so that was. one down. So I guess like the big debate right now is if we're going to use fresh tomatoes or canned tomatoes. So like, why don't we go about that first? Yeah, start dabbling around with some Yeah, tomatoes. let's figure it out. I say, look, we got this nice little list of pizzerias here in New York. Why don't we call some up, all right? We'll do it anonymously. <laughs> and we'll ask them, hey, what do you guys use? You guys use... Uh, Canned tomatoes or, or fresh, fresh tomatoes? <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, how's it going, John? Hey, I just had a quick question for you. What's your sauce? I'm obsessed with it. Do you guys use canned or fresh tomatoes? Oh, trade secret, is it? Are they crushed? Or you put them through a food mill? All right, cool. Well, hey, thank you very much. What, they use canned. They use canned. It was a you little gotta vague. Call back. <laughs> I gotta call her back. And the, but she said they put it in a blender. I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, I'm curious about your pizza. Uh, do you guys uh, use fresh or canned tomatoes for your pizza? Fresh tomatoes. Uh, how do you guys go about making the sauce then? If... She got she, weird. She was like, I just served the coffee, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love your pizza. I was curious about the sauce that you guys use. Do you guys use fresh or canned tomatoes on it? Canned tomatoes, can you tell me, is it, is it whole tomatoes or is it crushed or pureed? So they I'm said gonna... fresh, special order, uh, Pomodoro, or whatever they're called. Okay. Canned? Can I call back in a half an hour? Oh, well, why? This is uncomfortable. <laughs> he said call back at one. Secret ingredient. Well, I mean, there's definitely tomatoes in it, at least, right? Is it fresh or canned? Can you tell me that? You hung up. Wow. You jumped right out of the gate. You went right for the neck. You gotta, you gotta ease it in a little, Andy. Let's call someone who is kind of expecting us. Uh, maybe we'll get some clearer answers out of them. I need. Uh, let's call Scar's Pizza. Okay, let's do it. Hello, Scar. How you doing? This is uh, Brad from over at Bon Appetit. Uh, I know you were working, uh, talking about dough with a coworker of mine, Claire. So I just let that work for a while. I just wanted to pick your, your brain real quick about some sauce. Do you guys uh, do you, do you guys use canned or fresh tomatoes? Canned. I'm sure this might be a trade secret. Do you guys uh, throw like a little basil, oregano, maybe an anchovy? I've heard people doing. All right, cool, man. We'll catch you next time. Well, well you know, you stuff. can't tell all of this. Oh, uh, I don't know. You need to maybe go back to journalism school. Like. <laughs> Never went. I'm gonna call one more. So you're gonna call? Oh, wow. I live in the neighborhood. And I love your guys' pizza. I was curious about the sauce. Do you guys use fresh or canned tomatoes? Canned. Uh, awesome. Do you guys put any garlic or olive oil in that? 
people really are stubborn about talking about pizza. Yeah, I would probably hang up too. Damn, so we're at yeah. five to two. So a producer knows someone who is a food scientist. What's the difference between fresh tomatoes and canned tomatoes? I don't know, hoping she does. Let's give her a buzz, yeah? Absolutely. Hey, hey. Rosemary. Hi. Huh? How are you guys? How's going? I'm Brad and this is Andy. Well, yeah, so I guess we want to pick your brain a little bit about canned versus fresh tomato. It depends. So if you're removing the skin, which often is the case, the skin happens to have quite a, quite a few of the aroma compounds. So some of the flavor compounds are in the skin. So that is going to be lost to, to some extent and less than to some extent. But when you cook a tomato, especially at high heat, you're bringing out two other pigments, lycopene and lutein and they give a real nice rich red color to the product. So the color changes a lot when you heat. Is there a benefit to crushing your own whole peeled canned tomatoes as opposed to getting one that's already been crushed? It's gonna affect kind of the thickening properties of your tomato too. So if you hand crush or do a real coarse kind of crush, um, some of the cellulose, which is gonna give structure and it gives a thickening quality to the tomato sauce is gonna be intact. If I have a fresh tomato, I want to eat it raw. Right. Sometimes if you have a canned tomato that's picked at the right time and canned right away, which they typically are, they capture uh, it. you get a pretty good product there too. Mm -hmm. When you're making your sauce for a pizza, out of curiosity, do you add any garlic to it or? The beauty of pizza is it's bread, it's tomatoes, and it's cheese. I mean, that's just fabulous. Right. So <laughs> extra stuff. I don't really go crazy. And salt. Salt's really salt. important. Yeah, we're on the same page. Thanks, you guys. Nice to meet you. Rose was talking about the color and how like canned tomatoes typically tend to be a slightly... A little more red. A little more red. I think we, at the end of the day, we want it to be a still have that kind of bright, glossy color before right. it goes into the oven. Let's fool around with some fresh tomatoes just for the sake of it. Yeah, um, let's try And we'll around. taste it and see how it goes. We're in the middle of winter, like this is not peak tomato season, so I know we're not dealing with the best, but I mean, at least we were able to find a variety of tomatoes. Let's I mean, like fool best. around with these, we'll blanch them, we'll run them through the mill, okay. get them into our you know pulpy kind of status, status. We'll core them and then we'll score them top, bottom. What are you eating? One of those, and we'll remove them, place them in an ice bath. Oh yeah, skin wants to come off. Yeah. You don't want yeah. that in your sauce. Just look at that. They're both plum tomatoes. So if you're gonna be using fresh, you wanna get as ripe as possible. Yeah. These are the plum tomatoes. And these are their skins. Okay. Not too bad. They smell off. Has this foamy look to it. It is a little foamy. They do seem to peel pretty easy. This doesn't smell nearly as off. What the hell did you do with that? I opened it up, getting some of the seeds out. I know, but like let's teach the, the viewers. I mean Kind of have crossbows like this, and then you just get all the seeds out. Yeah, I know. Well, let's see. Let's see the difference. And then you have all these seeds over here. It's well, like... you got a big mess in the sink, Cheech. The sink is where the garbage goes. Oh, you're one of those, huh? Let's mill one of each and taste the bowl. Mm -hmm. You can imagine what it tastes like. It's not terrible, it's just kind of blah. That's like mom's bruschetta no, but in the like, 90s but like, something. look at that. What are you doing, FDA? Okay, this looks uh, like almost bubbling. And it's not a great color. Yeah, it is a little brown. Don't hate the flavor. It's too wet. Too wet. This one, it's, I know we kind of thought the flavor was good and but was tart, it. but it's, it's water. water. I think the consistency of the plum is The consistency, great. the color. And the, the color is great. And the, yeah, if you're gonna go fresh, conventional tomatoes, ripe as possible plum. So that's the case. So let's say we fire up these ovens, we'll mill a couple canned tomatoes, mm -hmm. just for the sake of comparison. Mm -hmm. Here's our fresh plum tomatoes that we milled. Uh -huh. And this is whole the can. Peeled. Whole peeled, undrained San Marzano tomatoes. We're just seeing how it reacts. So what do you say, why don't we make two pizzas? Already you see the big difference in color though. Let's put it to the test. I don't look right. And not too much cheese, you know? Strategic placements. No cornmeal, I like that. It's all about the wrist and keeping it flat. It's cool, I'll look this way. The dough can sense fear, Andy. Just saying, it's what Claire taught me and it really stuck with me and it makes a lot of sense. It's technique, not muscle, okay, gym rat? Yeah, yeah, you wanna get air under, you know? You got it. There you go, you got it. To the ovens, Andy. I'll start the timer. Bad, not bad. Again, it's about the sauce anyway, Andy. Look at that, it got watered out. Claire, this is for you. 
There's that leopard print, or what was you calling it? Leopard uh, spots. Oh, Jesus. Look at my cheese. Trial and error. I mean, right off the bat, visually. Color. This color is great. The consistency. The spread. Like, that looks sad. Like, well, uh, is it sick? And the liquid, all the liquid went into the dough. Mm -hmm. What we're going to be able to work with, I don't think fresh is the way. Yeah, can for sure. And there's so many different varieties. I think we still need to kind of look and see which brands totally. we like. Yep. Why don't we take a little trip? Let's go up Arthur Avenue. I'm ready. Let's go to the Bronx. Let's go to the Bronx and do some shopping. Deal. So, yo, we came up here, Arthur Avenue in the Bronx. Uh, it's a good old Italian neighborhood. Yeah, I'm hoping to find the good stuff, you know, a little bit of more of a selection than just your regular groceries. Oh, we got it here. We're in New York. Why not, you know? see it. Oh, it's great. It's in Italian. It's in oh, no, they got English. Citric acid. Good morning. Seems to be like the right spot where yeah, we need to be. It. Right off the bat, I see these. Remember, Tom was telling you about it's those Mount Vesuvius where it's grown on the volcanic soil. But they braid them like that and hang them, and they stay fresh for like a, uh, up to a year. What? I'm telling you, Google, it blew my mind. I know you like this. I know yeah, you have a thing for, uh, for ladies on the t shirt. It's so bizarre. T shirt, please. We'll get a couple of these yeah, with, your, of with your lady friend. You gotta get a couple of these too. I mean, different woman, but that's okay. I don't know if they're peeled or not, but we'll, we'll see. That's one way to find out. All right. We're out here, we're looking, trying to make pizza. So we wanted to come and get some other varieties of, uh, you know, that you wouldn't just find in a, in a conventional supermarket. This is the number one brand in Italy, so that's what I use in my pizza sauce. Oh, no kidding. Oh, okay. But when I do my pizza sauce, I just use the plump. I don't use the juice. We strain it, we use just the plump parts of and it. And then how do you break the tomato we down? Break, we cook it down a little bit. You do cook it. A little flavor, a little garlic. Yeah. It's like a quick sauce, as we call it. Okay, And it's a sauce, sauce yeah. not gravy. Yeah, yeah, Because there's no meat. Meat. There's no, no meat. meat. Chunky yeah, is the yeah. best. Yeah. Okay. And when it kind of cooks to the dough, yeah, the nice with sandwich. the right mozzarella, of course, is very important. I mean, we'll have to pick up a couple of these. We, we might as well. Oh, here we and, go. Uh, right up front. It's like they knew we were coming, Andy. Let's check out the ingredients. These are important. These look good. I bet you these San are San Rosano plum peeled yeah. tomatoes. San Rosano tomato juice. Yeah. I got a good feeling about this one. I do too. Hey, how are you? How I'm are Andy. You? Good, Andy. How are you? I see you got some tomatoes for us. Yeah, sure. oh, very cool, huh? So yeah, well, we, we're out here, we're trying to make the perfect sauce for pizza. Well, you came to the right place. What we have here is a DOP product. Yeah. This is registered with the consortium. Each one is certified from the consortium. This is from San Marzano, Italy. And you can tell oh. at the tomatoes, look at them, they're beautiful. Long and thin, yep. piece of basil, the taste, the perfume, everything is very good about these And things. then what the liquid is just uh, It's a juice. It's, it's a, a juice. juice. Yeah, some come in a puree. I've imported. never seen this brand before. Yeah, what are those? These are from uh, San Marzano, they're very good. And this is just for a private company that we sell, Rabalta oh, in Manhattan, so. New York City. So we can't buy that? Okay. You're sure? Well, uh, slip, again, it, slip it. a 20, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get a couple of those, but uh, this that was super helpful, thank you. Good, yeah. good, good. Always a pleasure. Now we're back in the test kitchen and uh, we're gonna get cooking. Well, let's taste them first. Let's taste them, let's taste them straight out you know? of the can. And are we gonna cook them? I don't know. We went with whole tomatoes because that just minimally processed. One time when I was younger, I was opening up a can of tomatoes like this, and I guess I had my hand like this. You pay, you pay attention? And I pulled you it. Pay attention. And the can, I had to get seven stitches. Seven stitches? Across two fingers. This is a dramatic kid. Yeah, I get it. You're also the youngest and more prone to accidents. The youngest of what? <laughs> I mean, you were the youngest child, weren't you? Yeah, there was yeah, only two of us. <laughs> okay, I'm very excited. They're not peeled, so that's one thing. A little watery. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's a little metallic. This is a slightly touch more red. The liquid itself is a lot more thick, it seems, though. That with some good olive oil would really... Oh, yeah. I like that. Pretty well balanced. I would take it over the mountain tomatoes. Volcano sure. tomato. So let's try this one. So this already looks a little dark. Remember mm. food scientist? Yeah. Remember she was saying when it cooks, they get darker in pigment. It's just a touch too acidic for me. Yeah. Ooh, this looks nice. Hold wow. on. So those tomatoes good. look really beautiful. Money. Oh, grown in California. That's yeah. your people. Yeah. Skinless. Tastes very different. What the f Delicious. Only concern is it's already been kind of fussied up a little bit too much. Puree, basil leaf, whole peel tomatoes, salt. It looks like it could be the firmest out of all of them. It is, I think, yeah. I just got a bite of skin too that was not pretty, not pleasant. They're still pretty. They're the most. They're still kind of like rawish. 
What do you think? I think the flavor is fine. Okay, two more. Marca La Bella San Marzano. Just visually, there's like this cloudiness to it. You see the pool of liquid that it release. Pale red water. I would put these as last right now. Sorry. They said these are really good tomatoes. You know, I've been lied to before. Their shape seems really nice. Kind of pale, dessert. right? Kind of pale, but it uh, doesn't release too much liquid. It's just kind of bland. So this is our last pick for now. The mountain tomatoes are second to last. These next. Yeah, pull them. And then this is where it gets really tricky. Yeah, these two, huh? San Marzano plum peel tomato, San Marzano tomato juice, basil leaf salt. Organic tomatoes, they're from California. Sea salt uh, and organic basil. Well, how do you feel about it being from California? I'm okay with that. I think some of the best tomatoes in the world or the best tomatoes in the world are from California. And I mean, it's kind of a similar climate. Yeah, 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 exactly. The climate. That's it, that's the winner. Which one? Oh, hold on, don't tell me. Delicious. A little salt, a little olive oil, forget it. <laughs> Thank you for making our job really easy. <laughs> Almost not fair because there's salt and basil, but all of these have salt and basil. The quality of the tomato really comes through. Yeah. And that's kind of what it's all about. Yeah. Canned. Canned. Questions I... are still crushed by hand or food mill? Drain or no drain, crushed or mill. So we'll figure it out this afternoon. What else? Garlic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, garlic or no garlic. I like the idea we were chatting about of blooming a little lightly, a little garlic, like in just oil. In a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. Light. So we can agree on that right now. We are not gonna grate garlic. It's just gonna be really garlic forward, I find. I think you want a bit of that sliced garlic slipped in. That's how you see it in Goodfellas, and that's how I think we should be doing it today. <laughs> cook or no cook, drain or no drain, crush or mill, yeah. garlic. All right. Yeah, let's, let's get to it. We got some work to do. Let's, uh, let's start with the, let's crush a few and then we'll mill a couple. Got it. Right off the bat, I like the crush texture kind of, but yeah. how do you feel? You're not going to get away from these. Ooh. And then you have this. It still yeah, has look. texture, but you don't get that. I don't need that on my pizza. I don't really need that in my life at and all. And it's not very nice to eat. So, if we're gonna crush your mill. Yeah, get the mill again. Burn the mill. You know, it's a good thing that we did drain them because. It's this plenty wet. It's plenty wet. This is a good texture. Mmm. Hey, it's pretty good already. It's done. I think. Um, Pinch of salt. You know, definitely salt. Definitely. Olive. Uh, yeah, it needs some love. It needs some love. A little hint of garlic would be nice too. Yeah. I think the first test should be all raw. We'll do olive oil, we'll do sliced garlic, and we'll do uh, canned tomatoes. Okay. It might need more, but we can taste later. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay. Okay, I, I, okay, we're different and that's okay, but just give me the tape, just give me the tape. Just, where's the whole tape? I didn't bring the whole Still, tape. Okay, just, just hold on, hold on. Andy! No, hold on. It's not, I, I, I agree, should, maybe I shouldn't have put it just on Just like, like, let that. me be. You do you, let me do the stuff. That's, this is, this is like. Oh, you can be the tape guy, Andy. Number two is gonna be a tablespoon of oil, yeah. garlic, heat it, pull it, mix. Yes, number three is going to be Light cooked. Cook. Everything. Just cooked, okay. No color. No color, yes, chef. We just want the natural sweetness and that fragrance to come through and to uh, flavor the sauce. But other than that, we don't need any bitter or deep caramelization from the garlic. All right, I'm just gonna add this right to it. Adding, it's too much garlic. Though. Too much garlic? Also, we got a lot of sit. It's tasty. Oh, look sure. at this. This is like, oh, did you make garlic stew? It's definitely a little too thick. Mill some more tomatoes. We'll start over. Okay. I'm going to pour this in a measuring cup. Why? Because I need, I, 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 I just, I'm sorry. You know, blame just, it on my mother. Can we just scoop three cups out? Yeah, I was dying to know what our yield was. Six cups. Two cups for test, yeah. Yeah, two cups Glad for we test. Talk. So, number three is cooked. This is going to be bloomed in oil, and this will be raw, okay? Raw first. Okay. One. Two. Okay, great. Well, so I think I should slice the garlic. 
just because. We're fighting like a married couple. He set the mandolin, I sliced it. And it's my fault. Pinch of that. Half Pinch teaspoon this, salt. And then we'll cook this just gently. Wait, what did you just do? Oil. This is, we're gonna heat it up. No. You screwed up. What's the problem? Do you feel strongly about. Chris, what he just did right now. Oh, he put it all together. All he together. We're gonna heat it up. He didn't. You think you should do the garlic in the oil and first? And then you add the tomatoes, then you let it cook a little bit. You don't but just I thought what together. we were trying to do was everything's together and you're just gonna do a light simmer. On Mars, like. I like one of the on Brad's team, but I'm on Andy's team. Yes! Why do you want to be on Brad's team? No, yeah. it's so not right. Or we do a fourth we one. We do, we do. Mill some more. Do a fourth one. Oh, uh, we'll see the big flavor difference. Fire it up. We'll get to the bottom of this. Raw garlic, oil, tomato. Garlic came through. The garlic came through. I mean, and that's been sitting for like 20 minutes. Garlic has been cooked a little bit and then added the raw tomato and then pulled out. The garlic comes through like in a little bit. It tastes like a little toaster. This is the where it's all combined and just all brought up. I like that. I do. Can't believe you. Just try it. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> this is where, again, it's all cooked, except you cook the garlic first, and then you add the tomatoes. It's good. It's a little better, I think. Yeah, that's good. That's better. We're not gonna tell you what's what, but can you just taste all four of these okay. and tell us which thing? And pick two. There's some, something went bitter in there. Garlic. This one saw some heat. I don't know. So this one, like, I'm saying, like, it's like, yeah, definite, like, yes. This one, I can't quite decide on. I feel like I'm getting something from here, too. These two. Ah, uh, too bad. Sorry, Andy. Woo! I guess we have our two winners. You know, never, you know, never sleep on the ugly duckling. <sighs> Let's say we break out some doughs and make a little pizza. That's it, I'm ready for it. Yeah. Congratulations. What, no good? Never sleep on an ugly duckling. <laughs> oh a little flour in between there. Ooh, nice dough, Claire. You going with the spin? I'm practicing all weekend. <laughs> All right, I feel good about that. So just one ladle full? Yeah. I need more sauce. Yeah, you do you, you know? All right, I'm going in. Wait. Why? I don't know. I'm going in. Wait. Oh, what happened? You did that. You what did happened? that. You did that. <laughs> Put a little bit of flour in front. Go, you got it. Calzone? Not too bad. Well, you gotta sauce it first, remember? Nope. Nope. You don't. <laughs> I don't Claire, know. You're not always thing. right. Do you guys care about that? Yeah. Remember, the dough can sense fear. Ah. Oh. When do you turn it on the minute mark, two minute mark? Yeah, I like how it has a little bit of texture, right? It's a nice little bit of acidity. Coming through pretty nicely. It still tastes like tomato. Yeah. You used a little bit more sauce, but I did. Good for tasting. Yeah, good for tasting. The difference, if there is much of a difference, it's 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 subtle. It's, it's subtle. And I think this is brighter though. I think let's do it without any cheese. I agree. Because the differences are so subtle. Yeah. The cheese kind of hides it. Okay. Hope. Yeah. They yeah. Oh! <laughs> All right, quit fooling around. Why do you keep checking? Shh. Don't worry about your soup sandwich, all right? <laughs> I think mine looks really amazing. Um, yours is looking more like American and mine's more European. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mine had a, a heat issue. Molly. Just quickly, which pizza would you rather have? Oh my god. 
I'm just kidding. Not, look, I didn't. You know how badly I want to say this one because I know that he made that well, one. Why? Why I mean, wouldn't you just give me credit? This pizza yeah, but my, I, I had an oven malfunction. My oven no, turned off. No, your pizza's great. Thank Don't you. let him get in your head. All right, let's focus on the sauce. We're forcing around. It kind of has that like clean flavor of like a fresh tomato. The garlic and the oil, just those few different salt. things are variables that can. The salt level's nice. And the salt level, yeah. Okay, cracker pie. <laughs> this is a touch sweeter, and I don't mind it. I'm trying to not just think of like what is the better sauce, but what is the best sauce be that'll fun. interact with the dough, with the cheese, with the toppings. Um, so what are your thoughts? I want something with a touch more acidity, which means going for the raw one. The raw one. Whatever cheese yeah, Molly and Carla decide to land on, uh, it's gonna be some. It's gonna be milk fat, right. and that that fat is going to be cut by the acidity from the tomato. Yeah, I think you know it's a very simple sauce, and highlighting just using. Real, maybe we can get some really good garlic for the, our final pizza. Yep. Um, we have good olive oil. We have the food we mill. Found the tomato. To go about that. The mill. Uh, Claire's got the dough. And now Bianco. Let's up the cheese. And Bianco tomatoes. And That's Bianco to tomatoes kind of killed it. Oh. Candid is. Went with Bianco. Yep. And then we went milled. After mill, we went to um, no cook. Cold. No cook. I think this was a good adventure. Yeah, I think I think we really figured some stuff out. Yeah. And, um, you know, if anything, we got to see that all canned tomatoes are definitely not created equal. Not at all. It I was think unbelievable how much of a difference. Yeah, big time. Where Claire's out with the dough, it seems great. And yeah, then, our dough's uh, nice, our sauce is nice. Now it's it really nice depends. nice balance, it's a little bit of natural sweetness. You now know? it just depends on the cheese. It's gonna make or break yeah. all the hard work that we've done so far. Who's making the best mozzarella in the world right now? going into mozzarella surgery. It turns out that two hours of apprenticeship will not make you a cheese master. <laughs>